Hello everybody! In this video, we'll be working on this new Translate app, which is on iPhone and iOS 14. So, let's open it up. It's a very simple layout, and let's go over some of the basics. So, we'll select our language that we speak. So, because iHelp is located in the U.S., we'll be selecting English from the United States. Multiple different dialects of each language are evident here. Then we can select the language that we'd like to translate into. So we can see our recents and we can see all of our languages and all the different dialects of each language do. Perfect. So let's translate. Let's translate from English to Spanish. So we can change that with the segmented control right here based on what you're doing. So let's say, hello. Simple phrase. Probably most people know this, and it will translate immediately into hola. So let's hear that out loud, because if you're not sure how words are pronounced in another language, you can just click this play button right here. Hola. And we heard the best pronunciation of that small word. Let's favorite it and put it in our favorites tab. The favorites tab is really helpful, because when you keep forgetting phrases of how to translate things, you can find them in your favorite tabs because maybe you'll be asking them to your neighbors or your friends multiple times. Perfect, let's go over some more. So, right here, we can translate from someone speaking in Spanish, or for you speaking into Spanish, into English. Perfect, so, let's do this. Hola, como estas? And then immediately, it will translate just like that. And you can translate it from whichever language you'd like to. And we can play that out loud, too. Hello, how are you? And it plays in that familiar Siri voice, which you probably already know. Let's click on this dictionary. And we can see all of these explanations on what those words mean. And since this is English, most people know this. Perfect. So... Those are some translate app basics. See you in the next video. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe.